Hello guys, welcome back. Guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about an important topic, P2P scams. Now, do you know there's so many scams happening in the name of P2P? Guys, now, if you're into crypto, then you all know how important uh, P2P is. By using P2P, you can buy, sell and trade cryptocurrencies. Now, where there is cryptocurrencies, there are scams. Guys, scammers are everywhere and will go up to any extent to steal money or crypto from you. And they'll also try as much as possible to get away from the law. Now, in P2P, these scammers will use multiple ways to scam people. Now, the interesting thing here is uh, these scammers will put you in such a situation that uh, you will get caught and uh, all the blame will be put on you and the scammers will escape. So, in case if you get caught in this P2P scam, then uh, your crypto account will get compromised, your bank account will be freezed, you will get a notice from a cyber crime department, all your life savings will be gone and the worst thing is uh, you might end up in jail for a few days. So, if you don't want all these problems knocking on your door, then watch this video without skipping. Okay guys, now by the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm Vasu and you're watching Technovas. Okay guys, now without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, now first uh, let's discuss the methods uh, how these scammers will try to scam you. Now there's a person called Deepak and uh, his bank account got freezed. And uh, he got a letter from the cyber police portal uh, where it states that there was an online fraud uh, conducted in his name. Deepak uh, then tweeted that on 18th May, my account got freezed by bank. My bank branch is saying that you have received a fraud payment on your account. Then I get to know that some scammer sent me payment after scamming third person. For the USDT, I sold on KuCoin. I also got the payment from same name as in KuCoin. So what happened here is, the victim is Deepak and he was selling his USDT on KuCoin through P2P. And one scammer sent a fraud payment to Deepak and the scammer purchased the USDT from him and later Deepak came to know that uh, the payment which he received uh, was from another victim like him. Okay now what happened was uh, I'll explain in detail listen carefully. The scammer first uh, he went on to some website or uh, OLX or any other online product selling platform. Then the scammer created a uh, fake advertisement like uh, putting his product for sale. Let's say uh, the scammer is selling a laptop for uh, 15,000 rupees uh, on OLX. So one of the customer who saw this laptop ad uh, then they contacted the scammer to buy that laptop. Now once this scammer confirms that uh, this OLX victim uh, will buy this laptop then he will go on to Binance, KuCoin or uh, wherever this uh, P2P and uh, there this scammer will contact a merchant uh, to buy 15,000 rupees worth of USDT and uh, let's also assume that you are the merchant and uh, you are selling your USDT through P2P and the scammer will take the bank account details of the P2P merchant uh, which is your bank account details and uh, he will give it to the OLX victim and uh, this OLX victim uh, will transfer money to you and uh, since you got the money, you will release the USDT. So finally, the scammer will get uh, 15,000 rupees worth of USDT and uh, you also will get the money. And uh, you also will think that uh, this is a uh, genuine transaction. And uh, later, that scammer will uh, sell that USDT and uh, he will withdraw the money to his bank account. So here the person on OLX uh, who wanted to buy this laptop, he lost the money and uh, he didn't get the laptop also. So usually most of the people who lose money on OLX will just move on and they'll try to avoid getting scammed again. But some people won't let this slip away that easily. So this OLX victim will go and file a complaint uh, with the cyber crime department. And he also tells that uh, he sent uh, so and so money to this person uh, to buy the laptop and that so and so person is you. And uh, the victim will give your uh, personal details and uh, bank details to the cyber crime department. So immediately the cyber crime department will contact your bank branch and uh, they'll tell you have done so and so fraud and uh, they'll also tell them to freeze your bank account. And also the cyber crime uh, will send an, a notice letter to you just like this. So this is the same exact uh, situation where uh, this person Deepak had to face. So this came happened when uh, Deepak was using P2P on KuCoin exchange. And uh, later Deepak contacted KuCoin and uh, told what had taken place and uh, he has given all the evidence. So KuCoin exchange uh, immediately took action and uh, they helped uh, Deepak. And uh, later that scammer's account on uh, KuCoin exchange was found out and uh, was banned. So now this Deepak's bank account is freezed and uh, until and unless this problem resolves, he can't do anything. He can't withdraw, he can't uh, carry out any transactions and uh, in case if he's holding uh, any other cash in his bank account then even that also will be freezed. So on the outer surface, it will look like you're the scammer and criminal even though you're innocent. Now the next way these scammers try to scam you is uh, when you try to sell your USDT, you place a sell order. And the person who wants to buy this will open a payment window. And he will be given 15 to 60 minutes time to complete the payment process. And this timings will be different on different exchanges. So 99.9% .9 of the time buyers will be genuine and they will transfer the money and buy USDT from you. But some scammers what they do is, 
if there's an uh, 30 minutes time duration to pay you till 28th minute or a uh, 29th minute uh, he'll be quiet and at the last moment uh, he'll click on paid even though he hasn't paid you so if you don't get the payment uh, you might think there was some problem and uh, you will just uh, ignore it but the scammer will create a manipulated data and a fake transactional records that he sent you money and he'll submit that uh, to the exchange by appealing so as soon as this happens the exchange will uh, lock this transaction and uh, your usdt will be locked so during this appeal the exchange will ask a proof from uh, both of you and uh, in case if you don't provide a sufficient proof then uh, there's chances that your locked usdt will be released to the scammer guys in case if you are using an, a genuine exchange like binance or any other exchange which has a good name and fame in the market then scammers can't uh, cheat that exchange at the end you will win but in case if you are using some uh, shitty exchange uh, which has no name in the market then uh, it's difficult for you to make them understand properly and sometimes the support team uh, won't even reply you back and sometimes uh, they won't even understand uh, in which language you're texting okay now i'll tell you the solution and i'll tell you how to avoid uh, all these situations and before that in case if you are not following me on my telegram channel then make sure you follow me there because i keep uploading crypto related stuff and if i get any emergency crypto news then i'll first update there only so make sure you follow me there my telegram channel link will be in the description of this video and sometimes the link doesn't open on some phones so if that happens then you can search by typing technowaz on telegram my channel has like 30.6k subscribers and i request you please be aware of scammers there are more than 20 fake telegram channels in my name now once you are on my channel i have a pinned post here so if you click on this uh, it will bring you here so this is my personal chat id you can click on this and uh, send me direct messages and guys please don't mind if i reply late i take very long time to reply because i get lot of messages and guys if i reply late or uh, if i don't reply please don't get mad okay and the reason why i'm sharing this chat id is because new people will go into telegram and uh, they'll search for me and uh, finally they'll end up contacting scammers and uh, they'll lose their money guys please don't send your crypto to anyone in case if you have sent then just forget it because you won't get it back okay now back to the video guys now before continuing with uh, any p2p transactions so if you take this box uh, only the genuine and uh, verified merchants uh, will be displayed here and uh, if you move your uh, mouse over this tick mark it will show as verified merchant with uh, high trading volume so all these merchants here are all verified which means they have completed their kyc and all documentations with the exchanges and in case if you come across any problem in the future then it will easily get resolved and also you can get and assess uh, that merchant's information easily so to be 100 percent secure always do transactions with the verified merchants only now the second thing is don't use your main bank account so some people what they'll do is uh, they'll be having only one bank account and in case if they're working then uh, their salary also will get credited to the same bank account and if they link this bank account everywhere so if this bank account get freezed then they'll be in a serious situation because if your bank account uh, get freezed uh, then there will be no guarantee when it will get uh, unlocked it might take one week also or uh, six months also so guys don't use your uh, main bank account for this always do this p2p transactions with the secondary bank account in case if something happens also only your second bank account will be freezed your first account will be fine and your life will be moving on now the third thing is uh, regularly try to deal with merchants uh, with whom you have previously done transactions with fourth thing is uh, check the merchant's name in case if i'm a merchant then i'll list my name as uh, waso r so if you find the merchant's name uh, bizarre names like uh, cheddy man superman spider man elephant man then completely avoid them fifth point is uh, always use genuine exchanges for p2p transactions guys in case if you have faced any problems during p2p transactions then please let me know that in the comment section down below so that uh, if there's anything serious then i can make a video and uh, i can bring more awareness and guys in case if you're new to this channel then uh, my humble request is please subscribe okay now if you have any doubts regarding this topic then leave a comment down below in the comment section Okay guys, I hope this video helped you. If so, then please do drop a like on this video. Now, in case if you are new to this channel, then consider subscribing. In case if you are a subscriber, I will meet you in the next video. Until then, a peace.